welcome back. In this video we're going to have a look at editing a CSV file. In the previous videos we've had a look at reading from a CSV file, writing to a CSV file and appending to the end of a CSV file. This video we're having a look at editing, so inserting a new element into the middle of the file. We're going to use a list method, so we're going to create a list from the original CSV file and then make changes to the list and then rewrite the CSV file. This method is fine to use as long as your CSV file is not too big, so a few hundred lines within your CSV file is fine, otherwise I'd probably suggest using a database for your data. Okay, so I have my CSV file here, which is populated with some activities, and then I have my code ready here. I've broken this down into seven stages, and I will talk you through each of those stages. So I've tried to make this program reasonably user-friendly. Um, th this stage here, I am showing the user what is in the CSV file. If they were to open the CSV file, then they might as well edit it in the CSV file. So the idea of this is we show the user what's in the CSV file, ask them what they want to change within that, and then we make the changes. And this method should be fine, as long as the CSV file is not too big, um, I'm talking hundreds of rows of details, um, then this method should be fine. Okay, so starting off, we import the CSV, that's straightforward. I then create an empty list um, ready to be populated. And then with open, I open the activities v4 file, which is my spreadsheet file over here. And remember to put the CSV extension and also that the file should be saved in the same file location of your Python file, otherwise you'll need to path in, pass in the file path beforehand. I'm using the R method for read, to read the file, and then I'm just storing this as file, file being a variable. I'm then creating a new variable, my file, and just making that equal the file that we have just opened. And then saying for row in my file, my list append row. So what that will do, it will append each row from the CSV file in a two-dimensional array, a two-dimensional list. Um, just to show how that works, I've put a print statement here, which I will delete that after. And if I comment that out, and F5 to run. Okay, so I can see that this is a two-dimensional array with all of these details being in position zero of the array, all of these details being in position one of the array. And for example, the word grass here is in position two of position one in that two-dimensional array. And I can see that at the moment there is four uh, items in that um, and each of those has another four uh, entities. Okay, so I can delete this. And next, I'm going to show the uh, details to the user. So nice print statement, please see details of the CSV file below. And then for I in range of the length of my list, now my list is four long, so in the I will be zero, one, two, and three. Four long because it has four lists within the list, so that's why it's four long. The good thing about using this method is if the CSV file was bigger, Python would automatically adjust the amount of times it prints these rows. I've then just got, um, trying to make this print statement neat. So print row, this will print zero because on the first loop, uh, I will be zero. Um, and the reason I'm keeping it zero is it will print this row at the start and I want that to be row zero. Um, and then I'm printing from the list position zero which again is all of these details. So that's showing the user um, the list. I'm then saying uh, to edit row. If I just run this program, we can see how it works as we're going along. Um, so this here is the outcome of uh, this line. So the row um, is here, so I'm telling the user which row it is, and then I'm showing the details from that CSV file. Okay, next I'm saying which row would you like to change? And then I've put row one, two, and then I've uh, let Excel work this out because I don't know how big the CSV file is going to be. So here I've put the string, and I have to put the string because I can't join, concatenate a list with a string. So I've done the string of the length of my list, and then I've done that minus one. Remembering that my list is in this case four, 
However, um, when I print the rows, because I start from zero, I only get to three. I've only given the user the option of enter one, two, the last item, because I don't want them to be able to um, change row one, which is the titles. Okay, and then I put please enter the new details of the row. So for example, my program running, let's say I want to change swimming, which is row two, so I can select two here. And then please enter the new details of each of the following. So here, another loop. So for I in range of the length of my list position zero. Now, if we remember my list position zero, these details were in uh, position zero. Um, so it's looking at um, only this first position. And then what I want it to do is on the first iteration here, have a look here, sorry, have a look at just the position zero within position zero. So created a new variable, um, enter the new data for, and then this is what is printing just the ID. So position zero, and on the first loop position zero, obviously the second time this I will be one, so it prints activity and then description. So, and then here I'm just doing um, my list position of edit row. The user chose the position of edit row. Um, so I chose row two here. Um, and then position I again matches up with the ID or and the activity, etc. So for example, if I edit this row, which is currently swimming, I'll just do this again. And if we say, what's the new data? Um, let's say skiing and enter the uh, data for the description, uh, downhill, and then enter the data for the level, let's say easy. Okay, so we can see that that uh, looped through um, each of the details, allowed me to enter the details, and also here I have made that position within my list equal the new details. The next part here, um, is just showing the user those details. Now this is just a copy and paste from the first time we did it up here in task three. So that shows the user the new details and as you can see here, I have skiing in that row too. Lastly, we're asking the user here, would you like to make the changes? Uh, yes or no. And then here I'm converting that user's input to lowercase. That then allows me to just be able to compare it to just lowercase in the if statement here. If the user says yes, then again, it opens the activity CSV file. This time uses the right method and then does the same as we did at the top, except this time, instead of reading row, we are writing each row um, for however long the list is. Uh, if I just do this and check it works. So if I put yes, and that's done. And then if I reopen my CSV file, so if I close this and reopen, and here we can see that the file is now populated with the new details, the skiing, which replaced the original swimming um, details. Okay, that's cool, that's working. All of this code you can copy if you want from computerscienceCafe.com and feel free to leave any comments or questions below. 